Hi everybody, it's Mr. Whalen, your technology teacher. I'd like to just go ahead and get rolling on our tech class today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. And we're on day number 15 of our Tech Ventures experience. We've been working on some spreadsheets recently, and these spreadsheets we've used for a couple purposes. One of them was I sort of led you through the grade point average spreadsheet. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. Mine's kind of zoomed out right now. And then also, um, we've been working on one most recently where you did some reaction timer work and there's some requirements for that. You'll see me work on that here in just a few moments. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be turning in an assignment today through Schoology. Both those spreadsheets are gonna be on a slide. And I'm gonna sort of break up the opening of today's presentation video into three parts. Here's part one. Let's talk about the slide for a moment. You'll notice I'm here on slide four. I've got my four screenshots from the lessons at typing.com I've finished. I need a new slide. I need slide five. I'm gonna click on inserts. I'm actually gonna to go to slide. And I'm gonna choose duplicate slide. Although there's a little bit of work with slide five right now, uh, all of my slides are gonna look consistent when I'm finished here. I'm gonna get rid of the table and the four screenshots. And I'm going to change my title. Now our title is going to go like this today. It's going to say spreadsheets. And in parentheses, it's going to say show formulas. If you need to adjust the font size for that, you can. Mine's at a 46 right now. Showing formulas, you're going to see me do this on the spreadsheets. Uh, the showing formulas piece means something like this. If I'm working on my GPA spreadsheet, I want to be able to see the entire spreadsheet on my screen. A lot of times if you're at, say, 100%, you'll notice that there's part of the spreadsheet that you can't see. So I'd like you to dial up a percent of Zoom where you can actually see your entire spreadsheet. I'm at 75% right there. That's pretty good. Probably if I go to 80, I can still see it. You want to be able to see your entire spreadsheet. Notice where my GPA is. It says 3.34. Please don't take your screenshot yet. When we get to the break in the video, you're going to go to the menu where it says View. And you're going to click on the choice here that says show formulas. And what it does is wherever I have a formula on that spreadsheet, it's going to show me that formula. Now, if part of it gets cut off like mine does there, that's okay. I'd like to be able to see that you have the average there. Once that average is showing, I'm going to ask you guys to take a partial screenshot of just the spreadsheet part. You'll see what I'm going to highlight here. Here's my partial screenshot. I'm going to highlight so I can see everything in the spreadsheet, including the formulas. And I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. Back on our new slide number five, I'm going to control V paste. Now we're going to have two spreadsheets on here. So the first one, you're going to want to be about this size right here. It's not required. I'm going to put a black border on mine. I just like being able to see it a little bit better. And that one's going to uh, be right there and looking like that. And I might adjust that here in a few moments when I get my second spreadsheet on here. Just witness me building up my spreadsheet called Reaction Timer. Yours may or may not look similar to this. If it doesn't, don't worry. 
at Schoology, I looked at every single bullet that was there and where all of the points came from, and I fulfilled everything. I have some fill color, I have borders, I have bold and centered labels and a title and my name. All of the requirements are there, including a file name here. If yours is different, you don't have to start making changes to it. Here's one change I would like you to make before I have you take your screenshot of it. Can you predict what the change is going to be? If you said that Mr. Whalen would have you click on View, Show Formulas, that would have been a great prediction. What I'd like to have you do is, after you've shown the formulas, take your partial screenshot. Now for this one, it would be awesome if you would also include the file name. I'd like to see that you have a file name with it. Take a look at what I'm highlighting there. I know I'm cutting off the word format. That's okay. I'm going to let go of the mouse. And I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. On my new slide number five, I'm going to go ahead and paste. Once this one is on here, you guys can start making some adjustments. I'm going to move this one to the lower right hand corner. Sort of maximize its size. I couldn't really do this until I have both of them on here. Over here is my reaction timer. Here's my GPA spreadsheet, and I can see both. Now your 25 point grade comes from reaction timer. Be sure <clears throat> that you show the formulas on here also so we can see the formulas. At this point, slide five would basically be ready to turn in for a grade. Been wanting to mention a couple of things. I did change the fill color for the title on typing.com to sort of match the blue that typing.com uses. And for slide number five, when I think about spreadsheets, Google uses a green color. What I'd like to do is I'd like to reflect that in my title by filling it with a green shade. Something like if you look at the color that Google uses for spreadsheets, don't worry if it's exact or not, and change it to green. At this point, you're going to be ready to turn it into Schoology. And while I just have you here on the video to remind you, you need to be on slide five. I've had some students turn in screenshots, but they were on the wrong slide, and I couldn't put a grade in there for it. So make sure you're on slide five spreadsheets. You're going to click on File. You're going to download as a JPEG. Once it's downloaded as a JPEG, go to Schoology and please submit this for a 25-point grade.